This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Diving. Welcome you to another sports catastrophe on this date. And on this day, the first day of winter, December 21st, back in 1969, Vince Lombardi ended his great coaching career. He was an icon in football, especially for the Green Bay Packers. And all that. So, anyway. He was done pretty well. He actually went to Fordham for it football scholarship and all that. It was pretty good. It was a tackle and all that. So, anyway. He would play for him and then start coaching. In high school, and then we went to Fordham to be the coach of the freshman team in football. And then he assisted as accepted assistant job at the military academy or army, basically. So, anyway, you know, Lombardi did well five years with army, and then he became the assistant for the New York Giants. He would be the offensive coordinator, as it were. Anyway, Lombardi, alongside his defensive coordinator by the name of Tom Landry, would actually turn the Giants into a squad, winning the 1956 NFL title. Lombardi thought he couldn't be a head coach because of his Italian heritage. Lombardi actually applied for head coaching positions at universities, but did not do it. However, he was known for rule blo uh, blocking to the NFL. That meant that the offensive lineman would block an area and not a defensive player. Running right to daylight, as they call it. Green Bay were terrible in the 1958 season. They had six future Hall of Famers, but they only won one game out of 12. So they needed something. The Green Bay community was enraged and all that. And people thought the Packers were in jeopardy because of the financial viability. However, Lombardi would become head coach and GM of the Packers and got full control over the football operations. The Packers then hit seven wins in the 59 season and Lombardi was named coach of the year. In fact, the fans appreciated so much Lombardi's effort so much that they had they purchased all the tickets for every home game during the 1960 season. And every Packers home game, preseason even, has been sold out since 1960. Lombardi's second season, Green Bay won the conference for the first time since 1944. Lombardi got them to the NFL title game against the Eagles. Sadly, though, the Eagles would win closely. Anyway, it was just terrible, all that. Lombardi said he would admonish his running backs if they failed to score from one yard out. However, the pa the Packers came back. They won their last, their next nine postseason games, which was actually unbroken until Belichick's Pats from 2002 to 2006 did it with ten straight wins. The Pats won the 61 and 62 NFL titles, once at home in Green Bay and once at Yankee Stadium where the Giants used to play. Of course, that Yankee Stadium is not the modern Yankee Stadium. It's the Yankee Stadium, the house that Babe Ruth, that Ruth built. It's just amazing. John F. Kennedy actually said that Lombardi should coach Army again, but no, he didn't do it. Lombardi, as a Packer, was 105, 35, and 6, which was amazing. No losing seasons 
He had a 74% winning percentage and helped the Packers win the 65, 66, and 67 NFL titles, which was the second time that happened in NFL history, behind only the Packers of 29, 30, 31. Well, of course, 66, 67 seasons were the Super Bowl years where it started, so he got the first two. Anyway, he got Paul Hornig, who was a Heisman Trophy winner for Notre Dame as quarterback, to become a full-time halfback and would design plays for Jim Taylor, the fullback. Whereas both guards, Jerry Kramer and Fuzzy, Fuzzy Thurston, would pull to the outside and block downfield while Taylor would run to daylight, where the defenders weren't. I know that the Packers sweep. We will do it. Through the alley. Lombardi helped the Packers beat the Cowboys in the Ice Bowl at the NFL title game in 1967, which was amazing and all that. So it worked out. So anyway, after his second title with the Packers, he resigned as Packers head coach, being becoming the general manager, and give Phil Bankston, a longtime assistant, his head coach position. But the Packers were 6-7-1, and one, so that didn't look good. And then somehow, in February 1969, he decided to become head coach and GM of the Redskins. They got their first winning record in 14 years. And unfortunately, Lombardi died the following year. Now, the question on everyone's lips is, would Lombardi have coached a second year if he was the, if it wasn't for his um, illness? But anyway. Anyway, in June of 1970, Lombardi actually was admitted to hospital, and tests said that he had anaplastic carcinoma, a.k.a. cancer in the rectal area of his colon. It was a fast-growing malignant cancer. All that. And the cancer was terminal. All that. Unfortunately, the cancer proclaimed on September 3rd, 1970, before the 70 season. And all that. Lots of people were there. So he did everything. Anyway. It was huge and all of that. He got lots of honors. He, he did pretty well for himself in football terms. But of course, I just don't know the question. Well, because on this day, December 21st, 1969, he coached the last game of the 69 season for Washington. The question remains, would he have coached a second year if it wasn't for the cancer? Probably not, by my guess. But still, he was an icon for Washington. And don't you forget it. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.